this is Joanne and I want to talk to you today about a series of books about uh, modern scientists. Now I love science books, I love to read about science, but I also like to read about how science unfolded. And uh, this always happens, all the discoveries always happen because someone made the discovery. Now there are a lot of books out there about people like Einstein and Pasteur, all the famous people, the, all the ones that the laymen know. But it's um, also nice, I think, if we can know more about the, the scientists whose names are less well known, are known within our circles, but uh, aren't known to the rest of, of the community in general. Now, um, so someone decided to take on the task of conversing with lots and lots of modern scientists. And this man was uh, Dr. Isvan Hargitay, and he is a chemist in Hungary. And uh, I will put a link to his website on my website so you can go ahead and learn more about him through there. But um, what he has come up with is a series of books um, where he went around and conversed with different scientists, asking each one different questions each time. Um, and, and we get to learn a lot about these people. We get to learn about these scientists as children and who their parents were and what kind of frustrations did they encounter when they were making their discovery and what kind of inspiration um, came along at the time and who did they get along well with and who did they not get along well with. It, um, it's very clear that Dr. Hargitay seemed to have the inside scoop on all of these scientists and so was able to tailor the set of questions to each one and did not limit himself to a, a, a series of questions that were the same for everybody. So his first set of book, his first set um, of scientists were famous chemists. So his candid science, conversations with famous chemists was number one. All of these pictures on the front were taken by either him or his wife as they visited the various scientists. Uh, candid science two is the uh, conversations with fi famous biomedical scientists. And uh, to me, this pretty much uh, looking at the list, it was a lot of molecular biologists. And uh, this happens to be my favorite book that when I opened it, I was just, I was just laughing with delight because um, the list of people in here is going to sound very familiar to any of you who study molecular biology. And we've got, of course, Watson, yes, bigger than life. We've got McCarty and Kornberg and Sanger and Jacob, and we've got Gilbert. And we've got all these people whose techniques we use in the lab and whose discoveries helped uh, just the field of molecular biology move forward. I'm just so excited to, to have this book and to recognize these names and now to learn something more about them. Uh, number three, it turns out there's a lot of chemists out there so there's more conversations with famous chemists and uh, it's just so exciting. Anyway, here's uh, Candid Science number, whoops, number four. Um, it's a generic version. Now, actually, this is a pre-publication version. And this one is, uh, he moved over to conversations with famous physicists. Very neat, very fun. Um, and then we've got Converse, uh, Candid Science five, where now for five and six, he just got to the point where he just put all different scientists in, in the volumes. It's the physicists and the chemists and the molecular biologists all together. So here's five and here is six. And each, each of these are getting thicker as we go along because the conversation's getting longer. He's interviewing more men and women. Uh, and it, I'm just so delighted that a series of books like this exists. So that, you know, when we read papers, we read uh, landmark papers, we see names, but we often don't know very much about the scientists. And I just love that this information is now available. So uh, my plan actually for, as a favor to you guys, is to ask the author if he wouldn't mind if I listed who he interviewed in each book. And that way you have this reference you can, you can go to, and then you would know which book to go pick up. Uh, should you need to do a research paper, you just wanted to learn more about somebody that you came across. So um, these books are, uh, I have not read all of them in their entirety. What I would do is every once in a while just pick one up and read one or two conversations and just enjoy it uh, piece by piece here, interspersed between all my other stuff I have to do. So um, definitely though, it, it's nice. I'm happy I have this collection. And I'm sure a lot of libraries have it too. So, all right, thank you so much for uh, listening today, and um, I'll be back with you sometime later.